are many ways to support your favorite charity. You can volunteer your time, make a cash donation, or you can follow Helen Martin's lead. She's the person who asked that her remarkable collection go to fund programs at Victoria Hospice after her death. Wow. You could say, if the hat fits, wear it. That was certainly Helen Martin's philosophy. She loved wearing hats. When she died in 2015 at age 80, she'd collected around 200. And they weren't tucked away. They were proudly displayed in her bedroom. And while Helen loved them in life, she had a plan for all those hats after her death. Her husband passed away about 20 years ago with hospice care. And it was her wish that we use her hats to raise money for hospice. More than 100 hats from Helen's collection will be auctioned off at the Hats for Hospice Tea Party. She planned this for years and she kept collecting hats to make sure it was going to be as big an event as it possibly could. Barb Desjardins' friendship with Helen brought her a new career. I partly became Squamalt Mayor because Helen was a force uh, to reckon with behind me. You know, she would overwhelm me <laughs> with her strong personality. You did what she wanted to do, you know. There was no saying no. Anyway, but she was a lot of fun. She was a very wonderful, giving soul who um, was always looking for ways to connect people, to solve a problem, to uh, make the world a better place. And through her hats, she'll do that for Victoria Hospice. Helen began meeting with us a few years before her death uh, to talk to us about uh, giving us her hats, her prized hat collection, uh, so that we could make a difference uh, for patients and families. She really was larger than life, and so it's fitting to have these hats continue on as, as her legacy. Helen Martin's legacy is already helping. The Hats for Hospice Tea Party is now sold out. It's been fun for people to try on the hats. We've, we've had a great time at hospice taking pictures. All the models are hospice employees. And there's a link on our website if you'd like to bid on one of the hats that will be auctioned off April 23rd. We hope that people give generously uh, and ultimately just that people remember that for every hat that they buy, they're helping another patient get care. They're helping another family with counseling support after a death. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, celebrating 80 years of connecting people who care with causes that matter.